Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Of course, my name is Blitzwinger, and ladies and gentlemen, if you were a kid in the 90s, or maybe even after that, because I mean, really, Dragon Ball Z never fully, fully faded away. But nonetheless, if you were a kid in the 90s, you know what we're looking at, which is Dragon, 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 Dragon Ball Z. Okay, I should stop that because my singing is 9 times out of 10 terrible, or 9.9 .9 times out of 10 terrible. And then other times I just get lucky because the people don't listen. But nonetheless, of course, this is a brand new um, trading card game for Dragon Ball Z. It is actually 2014. Um, the set uh, title is for 2014, so that's pretty cool indeed. Uh, I managed to pick up the starter deck and a full booster box. Today we're going to be looking at the starter deck and half the box, and then I'll do another video for the other half. It looks like there's 12 cards per pack, which is pretty awesome, and there's 24 um, packs per box, so that should be pretty fun. Now, I haven't played it yet, but I have watched a couple of videos on it, and I have to say, I'm really um, intrigued by the playing style and I usually have a board night I mean board game night goodness gracious and we've been getting into more and more other games and since I love Dragon Ball Z I kind of would love to play this as well so I was like you know what I'm gonna pick this up and uh, hopefully it'll be really really fun to play now in the starter pack here let's see what we end up with this game, from what I understand, is a little bit of a deck building game, just a little bit in uh, some of the themes and stuff. Whoa, that's a really cool looking Goku right there. And let's see what we have on the inside here. So I'm assuming we're going to get a manual, usually you do. So this is the, a rule book, sorry, not a manual. So this kind of explains to you all the different factors, like the uh, card types. There's a main personality, then there's mastery cards, it looks like. Then there are physical combat, energy combat, events, drills, setups, allies, dragon balls, and anger, I assume? Oh no, anger is a mechanism of the game. So I'm very intrigued to play this. Hopefully it'll be fun. Again, uh, considering I love art and everything like that, I'm really also happy and I'm hoping that there's some really cool art on these cards. Like, for example, this Goku looks awesome, so I'm already happy with that. And then I'm assuming this is the little playing field. Yep, there it is. So very, very simple, kind of, as you can see right here. There's a play area. There's a banished zone. This looks like it's been cut off, like, too early. Shouldn't there be a little bit longer? Uh, we've got Chanron right here, or at least that's what I think his name is, because, again, I watch Dragon Ball Z in a different language. Uh, we've got Discard Pile, Life Deck, Main Personality, and then The Mastery. So that's pretty cool. Indeed. So let's hope we get our power levels to over 9,000. I had to do it, right? It has to be done. Whenever you talk about Dragon Ball Z, over 9,000 is unavoidable. So here's the main deck of cards here, which you can see it's a pretty hefty chunk of cards. So let's see what we have here. We got an orange guardian drill, the blue rest, Saiyan, or Saiyan, sorry, uh, preparation, black energy web. The Namekian Double Palm Burst. So it looks like some of the scenes are from the actual show, or it, so far it seems like all of them are. Orange Power Point, Red Power Rush, Blue Fist Smash, Blue Narrow Escape, Saiyan Energy Deflection. That's a cool card right there. Red Static Shot. Uh, Saiyan Enraged, or Saiyan. I, it's hard for me to say because uh, the way that I watched the show it was always Saiyan, so that's what I want to say, but... I'm inclined to say, but then in English, you pronounce it differently. Uh, orange burning or drill. There's, okay, I guess that works. Orange burning or drill. Where's the drilling part? I don't see it. Uh, black taunt, red burning stance, power levels over 9,000. Uh, blue neck beam, blue swift block, red right cross, black strike, red energy shield, blue defensive stance, red surrounded beams, red blaze, Namekian heritage drill. Uh, Saiyan Analysis Drill, Orange Destruction, Black Energy Toss, Orange Quick <laughs> Dodge, that's a funny looking card, Blue Crouch, I almost said Crutch, that would have been completely different, uh, Orange Launcher, Black Jab, I don't, how, why does that mean, what, is it because the border is black, I don't get it. Uh, orange Energy Catch, Black Speedy Dodge, Red Frenzy Blast. These names could have been worked a little bit better, I think. Orange Celebration, Blue Positioning Drill, Red Intimidating <laughs> Drill. Look at that face. Uh, Namekian Regeneration, Saiyan Arm Catch, Orange Cover Up, Namekian Sidekick, Saiyan Light Jab, Black Left Kick, uh, Namekian Energy Guard, 
Saying straight shot, sorry that I'm out of breath here, there's just so many. Orange stare down, and I'm making infusion, black smoothness drill. <laughs> yep, this looks very smooth. Uh, orange hiding drill, the Saiyan lightning dodge, or is it lightning? Yeah, it is lightning. Uh, red blocking hand, the making forceful block, Saiyan face stomp. <laughs> yep, that doesn't look very pleasant. The Namekian pound, from when Piccolo was training Gohan. Uh, black flying kick, Namekian stance, a Saiyan diving burst, Namekian sudden blast, blue key build up. Ooh, we got some shiny cards too. Black energy web, shiny card, Namekian double palm burst, and orange power point. So, for these cards, since they're part of the main kind of play, I'm okay. Whoa, look at that. That's really neat. I'm okay with them using. Um, pictures from the show. I would prefer they didn't. I would prefer original art. Uh, obviously, that would be a lot more expensive to do, but um, I'm one of those people that prefers original art and stuff like that. Like That's why I love Pokemon and I appreciate Yu-Gi-Oh! and things like that. So I would have really liked to see that being implemented for the Dragon Ball Z cards, and hopefully it was implemented for these uh, cards right here, which I think are the personality cards here. So we've got a super duper cool looking shiny Goku here. Then, whoa, these cards are really thick. Like, they feel like, look at that. You see that thickness? That's crazy. Then we have an orange adaptive mastery. I'm not sure if you guys can even see that. It's really hard to make out. It seems like uh, Piccolo powering up there. Then we have a Goku Super Saiyan, which is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. That looks awesome. Then we've got a Goku Energy Catcher, which is about 95% of battles in Dragon Ball Z end with Goku standing up like that. Well, sometimes the hair color is different, obviously, and uh, powering up. Then we've got another Goku Kaioken Enhanced uh, card. And finally, we've got the Goku Protection of Earth. Uh, variant card. These are really nice. This is kind of what I would have preferred to see the other cards being like. Uh, a little bit more art instead of uh, pictures and screenshots from the show. So let's hope that will be the case with the booster box here. So now that we took a look at the starter set there, we got that out of the way. I should have probably brought a knife because I don't have nails so it's going to be really hard to... Oh man! Do I have something that I could use here? Come on! Lego! My my little Lego display stand is going to save me here, isn't it? Yay! All right, so I'm hoping for some really cool art here. I'm really, really hoping for that. Just because I love Dragon Ball Z and I'd love to have some cool art from it. In the form of cards, of course. The iconic anime series Card Game returns with more than 200 new cards. All right, that sounds pretty promising. So as always, this probably folds up. Ooh, look at who we are greeted by, Mr. Vegeta. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so that should slide in there. There we go. So now we got the little card store display. We're going to fold these two flaps up. I, I guess you could fold them in as well. And uh, as you can see, here are all of our packs. There they all are. So we'll go through half of them. It looks like Vegeta is on all of them. So that's pretty awesome because I like Vegeta. My favorite character is Trunks, but... Vegeta is pretty boss. All right, so let's get through these, shall we, guys? Let's hope for some really, really cool art cards. Now, I don't know if there's a trick to these cards or if there's a level of rarity. Usually, they write it right up here, don't they? Each booster pack contains 12 cards, 6 to 7 commons, 4 uncommons, 1 rare card, and a foil card, which is a 1 in 3 on average. Okay, so I'm hoping that... I'll be able to quickly identify how to tell which is the rare and everything like that. I mean, foil is, will be easy, but the, uh, what are they called? The uncommons, commons, and rares, I'm not sure how to tell yet. Because, you know, with Pokemon, I know to look for the little uh, logo at the bottom there. But we kick things off in a very exciting manner because I love Trunks, so this is awesome. <clears throat> so we've got Trunks right here, level 3 energy card. <clears throat> Sorry about that, just had to clear my throat there. Then we've got a Bulma card, a black searching technique. The Black Swerve, Red Heel Kick, <laughs> that doesn't look very pleasant, an Orange Energy Absorption, and a Makian Right Throw, and a Makian Double Strike. Then we've got another Trunks, which is a Resolved Level 2 card. Then we've got a Tenchian, or Tenchian? How do you pronounce his name? I don't know. I'm not sure how we pronounce it in English, so I apologize. Uh, black Concussive Blast, and then Black Lunge. So, how would we be able to tell if any of these are rares? There is no clear indicators. Like, it looks like Shanron is on all of them. So, I'm not sure what you would... Maybe these little things up at the top here, like the Dragon Balls? But it doesn't look like it. I mean, it does have, like, different numbers here. 
So maybe these are, hmm, something tells me that when it's one, these are commons, common, 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 common. Then this is probably our rare, the red heel kick, I would assume. Then these are our four uncommons with the three star. So I think that that's how it goes. Maybe. Not 100% sure. Oh, never mind. Goku's on the packs too. I jumped to a conclusion too quickly. All right, so we kick things off with the Saiyan Multi Blast, the Red Lightning Slash, Orange Offensive Strike, Namekian Zone Pressure. Then we have our rare, which is the Blue Lunge here. Ooh, look at that. We got a hollow. The Red Shoulder. Oh my God, are you serious? Red Shoulder Grab. <laughs> like, yo, I'm going to grab your shoulder, and that's a rare thing. <laughs> All right. Um, that's interesting. I'm kind of surprised that that's a hollow, but there it is. Uh, orange Revenge. Then the Orange Defensive Blast. The Namekian Maximum Will. And then Blue Reverse. And Namek Dragon Ball number three. That's cool. I haven't got any Dragon Ball cards before that. Ooh, Captain Ginyu! He's awesome. That's awesome. That's cool. All right, so we got our first shiny card. That's pretty sweet. Wasn't uh, a rare, but it's something. Again, um, I'm a little bit... Um, not dis well, maybe, yeah, maybe disappointed is the right word, but the art, I, I wish they were a different style, but I'm, I really got this predominantly first because I, I looked up some of the demos for the game and everything, and it looks fun and interesting, so I want to play it, so yay. Uh, so with that in mind, let's continue. We've got Blue Farewell, Blue Shifting Maneuver, Quickness Drill, which looks really cool, Blinding Energy Move, ooh, then we've got the Sand Powered Mastery. So we've got a Mastery there. That's pretty neat. And that's a rare. So that's cool. Or at least according to my system. Uh, Black Corruption. Black Punishment. Blue Battle Drill. Ooh, look at that. Now that looks awesome. Even though it's from the show, you can tell it's from the show. That does look really, really cool. Blue Defensive Effect. Blue Draining Blast. Oh, the Red Shoulder Grab. Except this time it's non-shiny. And then the Red Back Kick. <laughs> <laughs> that does not look pleasant at all. All right, so we move on to the next pack here. Come on, come on. I can't open this up. My force levels are too low. Ooh, nice. Speaking of force levels, those are Super Saiyan Trunks, or young Super Saiyan Trunks. That's awesome. That is really, really cool looking. Uh, we got Chichi. <laughs> That's surprising. Uh, Black Adaptation, the Black Swirl. Orange Uppercut, which is our rare there. Uh, Chiasu? Wasn't that his name? Chiasu? So, I don't know. Why is it pronounced so weird? Chiasu Resurrected. The Black Erasing Drill. The Black Knee Catch. The Blue Battle Readiness. And the Saiyan Scouting Card. Oh, sorry. There's one more. I'm so used to like 10 cards, so I think that that's the last one. And then the Saiyan Clothesline and Red Flares. All right. So that's pretty cool indeed. I try to stop at the rare so I could kind of keep it on the front there. All right, here we go. Next pack. So to me, it seems like the um, rare comes like the fifth card, it seems like. We got the Sand Surprise, the Red Power Punch, the Orange Overhead Smash, the Orange Empowered Drill, Trunks Sword Slash, which is our rare. Look at that. Cutting Frieza or Mecha Frieza in half. That is fantastic. Then we have the Red Double Strike, the Orange Precise Shot, the Orange Aura Drill, the Namekian Dragon Blast, Blue Defensive Flight, and Namek Dragon Ball number one. So we've got Dragon Ball number three and one now. And then we've got, G uh, sorry, Galdo, or I could have sworn his name was Guldo. Is it Guldo or is it Galdo? Hmm, I'm not sure. One or the other. <laughs> Again, the problem is, uh, it's been a while since I've watched the show, and then, of course, the other element is that when I was watching it, I was watching it in Israel, uh, so it was dubbed into Hebrew, so it had like a... Like, I say, the way that I always used to say Saiyan is Saiyan. That's the way I, I would say it, so... There's, there's different elements that need to be adjusted, you know what I mean? So, yeah. If I mispronounce stuff, I do apologize for that, though. It's not intentional whatsoever. All right, so we kick things off with the Blue Lunar Ray. The good thing I will say is it doesn't feel like we've gotten too many duplicates so far in terms of art, so that's cool. Uh, the Namekian Wish, the Namekian Flinch, the Devastating Blow. Then our rare card is a Mastery card for the Blue Protective Mastery, so that's pretty neat. Ooh, we get a shiny. 
very cool for the orange empowered drill, the red shattering leap, the red hunting drill, the orange distracting beam, the Namekian onslaught, the Namekian chop, karate chop, Oh, another Trunks. Cool. And the Red Shattering Leap. A lot of Trunks cards in this set. That's awesome. I'm very happy for that because I like Trunks, so that's awesome. I haven't noticed any, like, Androids, though, or, like, it seems like maybe maybe it's since it's the first expansion, they only go up to Frieza or something. Or maybe up to uh, when Trunks shows up. So that's kind of interesting. All right, so we kick things off with another Namek Dragon Ball, so that's fantastic. We have now 5, 3, and 1. Uh, Captain Ginyu, in the form of, of course, uh, body change, or when he body changed with Goku, spoiler alert. Burner, another member of the Ginyu Force. Vegeta's Anger. Our rare is Confrontation, which is an event card. Then we've got Saiyan Scouting. Saiyan Clothesline. Red Flares! Orange Revenge. Orange Defensive Blast. Now making Maximum Will. And our final card is the Blue Reverse. Blue Devils! Blue Devils! Da -da -da -da. I don't know, I just came up with that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Sorry for putting your ears through that. So, what I'd like to ask you guys while I'm trying to open up this pack, miserably unable to do so! There we go. Um, A, did you guys watch Dragon Ball Z or used to watch Dragon Ball Z? And B, what was your favorite character or characters? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to read that. Saiyan Domination is our first card. Then we have a red escape card, an orange escape card, a Namekian hybrid escape. Oh, sorry. Um, I just got carried away there. A Namekian hybrid defense, which is uh, still an uncommon. Then we have another mastery event, as or mastery card, sorry, as our rare, which is the Namekian knowledge mastery. Looks cool. I remember that moment from the show. Then we have it's over 9,000! Okay, that had to be a card. I mean, come on. You could not do that as a card, right? <laughs> that is really, really cool. Uh, Saiyan Supreme Block, the Saiyan Foot Stomp, the Saiyan Cheap Shot. That's a cool shot of Vegeta right there. Uh, red Double Strike, Orange Precise Shot, and Orange or Drill. Okay, so we've gotten some duplicates at this point, which is not surprising. I mean, we're getting into about uh, halfway through the box, so we should get into a little bit of a repetitive zone. All right, so we kick things off with Piccolo's Weighted Clothing, Gohan's Power Punch, Enraged Blast, Visiting the Past, which is, of course, Mr. Trunks again. Then we've got Captain Ginyu's Body Switch as an event card, and that's our rare here, so that's fantastic. Namekian Onslaught, Namekian Chop, Trunks Inquisitive, Variation, Shiatsu, Black Erasing Drill, Black Knee Catch, Blue Beetle, oh no, sorry, Blue Battle <laughs> Readiness, Blue Beetle, that's DC Comics, what am I talking about? Alright, so we've got about three packs to go, and then I will do the other uh, 12 packs, is it? Yeah, 12 packs in the... Um, in a separate video, just because it would be too much, and my voice couldn't handle that much screaming and naming colors. Uh, Namek Dragon Ball number six, sweet. So we're getting ever so closer towards a complete set. Captain Ginyu in his frog form, that's fantastic. Uh, then we've got Jace or Jis from uh, Ginyu Force, of course. So I think we've got. Did we get a complete Ginyu Force at this point, or no? I don't remember. Did we get Captain Ginyu? I'm not sure. Um, we have Black Delay, Namekian Dragon Clan as our setup card, which is also a rare uh, card, so that's pretty sweet. Ooh, my googly moogly! That is fantastic. All right, I'm a happy camper now. We got a Young Super Saiyan Trunks as a hollow card, so that is amazing. That is really cool. Then we've got an Orange Joint Restraint Drill, Namekian Energy Toss, Blue Head Knock, Namek Dragon Ball number two, so we got two Dragon Ball cards in one set, so that's pretty sweet. Oh, speaking of Mr. Captain Ginyu, well, there he is. The leader of the Ginyu Force is right there, and there's Raccoon. Okay, this was like a really good pack right here. We got so much good stuff in here. We got two members of the Ginyu Force. I think we got the other two as well before, yeah. So I think we've got a complete Ginyu Force now. And a Hollow Trunks there. That was a really good pack. That was very, very, very cool. Some really cool... Uh, characters and some really cool looking art in that pack. Alright, so we've got the Saiyan Gut Kick, the Red Jump Kick, 
Orange Inspection. I wonder what that means. Uh, and the making targeted strike. Our rare card is the Orange Searching Maneuver, which is a physical combat card. Whoa, okay, that's a little weird. <laughs> we got it, and then we got it as a shiny version. Okay, that's okay by me, but that's just weird. <laughs> back to back. Uh, we've got a blue trick card, the Blue Biting Drill. Is that really like something that you would describe as a biting drill? So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome, 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 welcome to this uh, course today. Today we're uh, we're going to be doing a drill, of course, as was discussed in the uh, program invitations. Uh, this is known as the uh, blue biting drill. It is uh, very, very interesting. It's going to involve a lot of biting of blue things and items. Um, we're going to begin with blueberries. So, uh, please, everybody, raise your blueberries and uh, take a bite. <laughs> like, what is a biting drill? Uh, a Saiyan energy toss, a red shattering leap, that looks like a painful punch. The red hunting drill, the orange distancing beam, and of course we're back to the Saiyan gut kick. So, for our final pack here, let's hope we get some something else, some other shiny trunks, that would be kind of cool. Let's hope we get something else, what a great description. I don't think we got any Vegeta cards, like... I wonder if he's even available as a personality card, but that would be kind of cool. Uh, Blue Betrayal, Goku's Kaioken, Overpowering Attack, Battle Pausing, Battle Pausing. Hey, listen, I'm Battle Pausing over here, okay? Relax. Uh, we've got a Saiyan Elbow Drop, Googly Moogly, that left a bruise right away. Uh, Nappa, that's awesome, very cool, so now we need uh, Vegeta, that'd be cool. A uh, Black Hug Maneuver, the Saiyan Uppercut, Saiyan Pinpoint Blast, Saiyan Energy Focus, Red Duck, Blue Duck, no, I'm joking, uh, Orange Refocus, Blue Betrayal, and back to Goku's Kaio, oh no, sorry, Goku's Kaioken, Overpowering Attack, Battle Pass, oh yeah, this is, we're, we're going backwards already, sorry about that, so, there you guys go, um, again, I can't really reflect on the card game yet, because I haven't played it, so, what I will do is, if you guys would be interested, just ask me in the future, like, hey, did you actually enjoy the game, blah, 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 and then I'll tell you if I enjoyed it. Uh, the really wonderful thing about this uh, card game is that it is affordable. Like, this entire box costs $52, which is, I know people can say, that's so much, but it's like it's 24 packs, 12 cards per pack. So if you really account for that, it's really not that bad. I mean, it's certainly not cheap, but in comparison to something like Pokemon, where a booster box costs you upwards of $110 after shipping and all these other things, uh, and in Canada even more than that. Um, this is definitely an affordable uh, game and a good entry-level game. Now, of course, it really depends on how the game is, because if the game is bad, who cares how much it costs, because then it doesn't matter if it's cheap or expensive. If the game is not fun, it doesn't really matter. Do you know what I mean? So once I play it, I'll let you guys know. It certainly seems like my kind of game. Um, I'm from what I've seen, I, again, I really need to watch some more demos and actually play it to tell you 100% whether or not I enjoy it. But I will let you know in the future with that regard. So, uh, all in all, we did pretty well. Here's the stack of cards. Let me go ahead and stack all these packs together uh, of cards that we were able to attain from, of course, opening up the first 12 packs. And uh, we did pretty well there. Oh, I forgot to also show you the back of the cards, which are nice right there with the Shenron and then, of course, the Dragon Ball Z logo. So that's pretty cool. Now, again, would I have preferred these to be custom art? Absolutely. If they were custom art, like there was actual art on the cards, I would be just happy with the art, first and foremost, because I love Dragon Ball Z, and I would love to have art from that <clears throat> in card form. And I was very, very impressed by these cards. These are really, really great. So uh, I hope that they do more of that uh, and less screenshots in the future, uh, if there are future sets coming out at some point. So, with all that in mind, of course, if you guys enjoyed this unboxing, please don't forget to smash that like button, share the video with your family and friends, favorite the videos as well, and of course, I'll see you guys later, alligators. Bye-bye!